on this episode of the Ritual Misery Podcast, Kent receives a surprise visit. Uh, it wasn't a surprise visit to the toilet, though. <laughs> but maybe you knew it was coming because of your ring doorbell. Well, we shall see. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 224 for Thursday, the 22nd of August, 2019. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, that's Kent. We don't have a guest this week because she's working, so no crunchy, sorry. That's uh, it's probably our fault. I'm sure it is, in fact. Um, but we, you have us, and we're all... Well, I was going to say we're almost as pretty, but let's, let's not kid ourselves. No. Yeah, no. No, no. no we're not so much. Um, how you doing, dude? I'm all right. Uh, I, I took today off. Um, did you, did you take it somewhere or did you like just stay home? <laughs> yeah, no, I stayed home. No. So this man, this so, week has been. So let me get this right. You had a day off and you still took until the last second to do your goddamn show notes. Uh, yeah. That's oh. how we do it. Um, well, just following my lead, I guess. Yeah. That's, I mean, you know, I, I learned by watching you dad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. T- this week was was freaking crazy. It was jam packed with with uh, like big wig visitors from other places and uh, meetings and site tours, and it was just insane. Lots going on. Mm. And, uh, that was Monday through Wednesday. <laughs> so yesterday, yesterday, or I'm sorry, um, uh, what is today? Thursday, Tuesday evening. I found out that we were going to have a surprise guest. Uh, at our house on um, Wednesday night into Thursday. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I can just not go to work the next day. So I asked my boss, and he's like, yeah, 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 that's fine. You probably need the break anyway after such a crazy week. I was like, awesome. So I put in the leave, and I was like, you know what? It really sucks to take a Thursday and then go to work on Friday only to start the weekend again. Like, you know what? How about I just take thursday and friday off mm. and um yeah that's what i did so uh steph's brother josh was on his way back home from a long like cross-country road trip and uh he he stopped in yesterday and it was super awesome to hang out with him get caught up um an extra surprise came with him he brought some spotted cow from wisconsin so it must so, not have been a long road trip because otherwise that spotted cow would have disappeared too Oh, well, <laughs> well I, he didn't give us all of his spotted cat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that that was that was pretty awesome. And then um, I ended up um, getting on Discord last night after everyone else was in bed, and I stayed up all night talking on Discord. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. There, yep. There you go. So nice. I slept most of today. And um, therefore, I waited till the last minute to do my show notes. <laughs> <laughs> you got up and got right on them. Got it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to throw a gander out there that, uh, that that you woke up when I texted you. Hey, dude, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I woke up five minutes after that. Oh, right, right. That's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I should have adjusted for the carried the one. Um, so what's with your toilets, man? Man, what's fuck the- toilets. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather do other things to them. Toilets are dumb. <laughs> uh, so I, I have I have four toilets in the house. Three of them are constantly leaking, like you know, doing a little running, you know, toilet running thing. Oh yeah, so not like leaking onto the floor, but right? The, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they. Uh, hmm. The main one that I'm worried about is the one upstairs in my bedroom because the pipe goes down along this wall. So I just basically hear running water in my wall all the time. It's a little disconcerting. Right. I went out and got new flappers because that's like the most common thing, little flapper thing that closes over the, the little, mm-hmm. the, in the tank, the, the, what, the blah, blah, blah. The flappers don't work. They don't work. They don't work. What do you mean they don't work? Well, you see, the design of the toilets is is, is such a way that it 
the when you when you pull the handle, the arm inside the toilet that pulls the flapper up, it mm-hmm. doesn't pull it up enough for it to do the little buoyancy thing. Um, right. You need to shorten the chain. Right, except it's shortened all the way. So I need to adjust the arm. Got it. Okay, well, I tried to... Ad- like, If I adjust the arm, then the arm hits the float valve, which makes it to where the float valve never f- goes up high enough to turn the valve off. So then the water just continues to run anyway. Yeah, that was, th- this is my day-to-day, fucking with toilets. Um, oh, and the one that was easy, it's different than the rest of the toilets because the rest of the toilets are apparently stupid. <laughs> the one down here that's like right next to my office, it works fine, it, but it's got the little slow trickle. Okay, well, I adjusted the float valve. That fixed most of it, but it still trickles. So I got, you know, I went to put a new flapper on there. Except it's a three-inch flapper opening instead of a two-inch, which is the normal standard. So I had to go back to Lowe's and get a fucking three-inch flapper to put in there, and it works fine. That one's that one's fixed. The other okay. three still piss me off. Wow. I did buy a conversion kit though, since since the flapper didn't work, I was just going fuck it. I'll just replace all the guts inside the tank. Yep. That was like twenty-eight bucks for the kit. Okay, no no big deal. The conversion kit to convert it over to like the the Japanese style where you get a, a half flush and a full flush. Okay. It was only thirty three bucks, and I was like, "Oh fuck it, I could try that," because that replaces like the entire the the whole fucking kit and caboodle, man. It just so okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably install that tonight after the show and see how it goes. Well, best of luck to you. Yeah, fuck toilets. Uh, wow, toilets are dumb. I mean, they're kind of ingenious when you think about it. <laughs> when they work. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's how that went. Um, I'm not the only one that might have done some uh, some home improvement or repair this weekend. This week, though, tell me about yeah, this ring it, doorbell. Have you have you? W- last time we talked about it, you were still thinking about it. You you asked for my advice on a few things since I had just installed the uh, ring doorbell too. Um, where are you at with it, man? What's going on? Yeah, so I, I was at Lowe's uh, myself <laughs> this week, and uh, I needed a garbage disposal because the one that we have right now is leaking a little bit, mm-hmm. and uh, I tried repairing it, uh, I don't know, a few months ago, and it seemed to work, but now it's leaking a little bit again. So it's like, yep, no, this thing's just old and needs replaced. So I went to Lowe's. Besides, I was like, you, know you, you, can go, you can go to Lowe's and get the nuclear fusion model now, right? That just fucking vaporizes everything. Yeah, those things are way, way expensive. <laughs> That's, no, I don't need to be spending 300 bucks on a fucking garbage disposal. Uh, but yeah, so while I was there, I was like, you know what? Let me just swing by the, uh, the uh, uh, like, connected home. Yeah. Uh, it used to be like a half aisle, mm. and it became like a quarter aisle. Then it was just a quarter aisle on one side, and now it's just like one shelf. Well, it used to be an end cap, and then it expanded to the half right. aisle. Yeah, and then I was slowly whittling down to a single bin. Yeah, like there was almost nothing there. Yeah. But what they did have was ring doorbells, mm-hmm. and uh, they had a couple different varieties. And I saw the because uh, the one I'd been looking at was the uh, the Pro, the mm-hmm. Ring Doorbell Pro. And I looked at it. I was like, wait a minute, is that price right? Let me look on Amazon. Amazon has them for two hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, Lowe's has it for one hundred and ninety nine dollars. Okay, so fifty bucks off. It, yeah, and then with my uh, military discount, it's another ten percent off that. Yeah, and I was like, sold. Yeah, so pick that thing up. Um, yeah. No, so- the the okay. So let's go let's go down the run the rundown real quick here. The Ring original was battery only, and was seven twenty uh, in a hundred and thirty degree field of vision or whatever. The Ring doorbell two is battery operated but it can hook up to the house on hardwire to recharge the battery and is 150 degree view and is 1080 uh video so it's it's a modest upgrade the pro is hardwired only is 1080 and has five uh of five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz which the other two only have 2.4 um so better better wi-fi connectivity um and no battery. So there's no battery backup to it at all. It's just hardwired uh, designed that way. Yep. And then there's the Ring Pro Super Duper Mega Ultra Deluxe model, which actually has like a fucking LAN connection in the back of it. 
for like professional installers that there's no way me and you are ever trying that shit ever at all ever. No, not not on this house at yeah. any rate. Th- those those are the four models of ring doorbell that I know of in my research. Yeah, so I I got this thing hooked up. Everything works. Like it it was actually pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, more time consuming than I thought it would be. Yeah, they say uh, fifteen minutes, but it ends up being more like an hour. That's, yeah, that's horseshit. Fifteen <laughs> minutes? No, well, no, sir. I, I could do it again in fifteen minutes. Um, like like if I, if I had a second door that had a that had that had a doorbell to it and it was going to put on there, I could do it. I could do a second one in fifteen minutes. Your first one is not going to be fifteen minutes. Well, and I, part of that hour though is setting up the app and all of that. Right. So, yeah, that's true. yeah. You're adding a second doorbell. Yeah, like you're already set up. Yeah. For the most. Um, <clears throat> I don't have it installed right now, though. Oh. Yeah. Um, turns out you have to drill into brick. Oh, <laughs> in a brick house. And uh, <laughs> I've got about a quarter of one of my, my holes drilled. You don't have a masonry drill, drill bit. I do. Oh. I do have one because it comes with one. Oh, this is true. It comes with that and a, and a screwdriver, like a, a dual-purpose yeah. screwdriver. Like it comes with basically everything that you need, except the drill. Well, and, yeah. I mean, technically, you could use the the screwdriver handle on the the well, drill bit, okay. but that's... I don't have seven years. Of... <laughs> I mean, uh-huh. they broke out of Alcatraz. You could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna though. Uh, but yeah, so I've I've only got about a quarter of quarter to a third probably of one of my holes drilled in my brick. It is fucking so time consuming. Um, but yeah, other than that, <laughs> good yeah. experience. You should have been doing that while you're on uh, on Discord last night. <sighs> oh, yeah, because that would have worked well. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, best of luck to you. I hope I hope you get to see the the fun that is that is the Ring system. I've got I've actually got the the Ring doorbell too, and the security system with a couple cameras and all the window sensors and the panic button and all that other shit i got i got all the stuff because when i go in i i dive all the way in so yep yep jamie and now you're gonna get the neighborhood app so people get to flag stuff and you can find out when there's suspicious activity like what just happened earlier today about a block over somebody said that uh there's a dude out there checking their cars last night yeah, and I looked through the neighborhood app. There is some of that, um, but the vast majority of it is people like paranoia type shit where yeah. there's like a guy walking his dog or some shit. It's like, come on. Oh, I, I don't get I that. This, I haven't seen this person in my neighborhood. <laughs> suspicious. Like, really? The, no. the worst I've seen is somebody rode their bike down someone's driveway and then off to the side and like through their backyard. And they posted that on there like, oh, this guy was trespassing. Like it's yeah. like a fucking fourteen year old kid riding his bike, probably hightailing it from some bullies or some shit. Leave him alone. Yeah. Leave him alone. Exactly. It's not. It's not mischief making. <laughs> he's he's not <laughs> he's not stealing packages. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> Which, by the way, I think every uh, video they put on the Ring website when it advertises like what it can do is somebody trying to steal a package. Well, yeah, an Amazon <laughs> box. Yeah, every single time they're trying to steal some Amazon shit. So, um, whatever. Um, hey, dude, I spend an inordinate, inordinate amount of time on YouTube. It's where I find most of my entertainment when I'm taking my breaks from editing or, or doing stuff around the house or taking a shit, you know, all those things on the fucking toilets. <laughs> I wanted to share three videos slash channels. Uh, well, one concept... One video and one channel. Okay. Which one do you want to go with first? The concept, the video, or the channel? Let's do them in that order. I I like concepts. Okay. The concept is really something that's just fucking obvious, but I just never discovered it. Okay. Movie trailer clips. And I don't mean like parts of movie trailers. I mean like a 30-minute video of nothing but movie trailers that are for movies that are coming out soon or coming to DVD soon. Okay. I love this idea. I don't know why I never thought of it before. This is brilliant. There's like three or four channels that are doing this. When I sit down to watch trailers, I don't want to sit there and look for each one individually. And there's no really good playlist to just start playing some fucking trailers. I just get on Apple TV and go to right. I don't have an Apple TV in my office where I spend most of my time. 
Okay. So, um, yeah, th- this is this is great. The one that I, I have here is Movie Clips Trailers. That's the name of the channel. Um, there, like I said, there's three three of them that I found that are pretty good. Love it, love it, love it. And I feel like an idiot for not knowing about this earlier. But there it is. There's my concept. It's a great concept. If you didn't know about it, I suggest going and finding one of these channels because it's great. And the good ones will actually have time codes uh, in the in the comments, so you can actually just skip to the ones that you want to see. But I like just letting it play. It's like being at the theater and building up that anticipation. It's like edging on a movie, but not actually getting to a movie. Right. Yeah, that's why it's edging and not going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What okay. Else you got? Uh, this one is a video. It's by Echo Gillette or Hillette or whatever. I don't know. Um, I'm going to pop Gillette, this. the yeah. best a man can get. Well, I don't know about that. That seems a bit, a bit odd. Shut okay. up, Echo Lady. Um, this video is called "This Is Not Blue: A Lesson in Color Theory," and I love when I see a video that's very specific about. Um, about, about geekery, like she totally geeks out about the color wheel and how it's not the right fucking color wheel. Oh, like the primary colors are not red, blue, and and yellow. It's cyan, magenta, and fuck, maybe green. I don't know. I didn't watch it that closely. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I did. She 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 goes on this fucking ten minute rant about the colors and everything else, and it's amazing. I'll link it in the show notes. It is. Honestly, it's one of my favorite videos that I found recently. She's got a lot of stuff on their channel, and I didn't really pay attention too much to the channel itself. Um, but this video right here, it flows right along with how I feel about the colors, and it kind of explains why red and uh, blue are not primary colors. So I guess it'd be cyan, magenta, and yellow are the three primary colors. Uh-huh. Okay. Like, actually demonstrates how you can combine the other colors, but... I don't know if it sounds science sounds good, and I enjoyed the enthusiasm that she had for it. So that's why I'm sending that video out there. Okay, great. What? So what's the other? Uh, what's your final one? The channel. The channel. Yes. The channel. Which channel would this be? This is Jubilee, and in particular, a show called Odd Man Out. And this is where they take seven people, like in this one, it's uh, seven virgins. Except one of them, seven non-virgins, except one of them is a virgin. And through the through bullshit in each other, they have to figure out who is the actual virgin. They have one that are like uh, vegans versus non-vegans and a whole slew of these. And it's a fun show. It's about 10, 15 minutes each episode. If they can figure out who it is and they, and they basically vote to kick him off the island or kick her off the island, if they... If they vote the right person off, then they split a cash prize, which is like, I don't know, 500 bucks, whatever. If not, if the person, the, the odd man out survives when they, when they decide to vote for it or whatever, that single person gets to keep the entire prize. Oh, wow. Okay. And it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's a fun sociology experiment if you're into that sort of thing. I might check that one out. That, out of the three, this is the one that interests me. Oh yeah, that this in in it's a bunch of different topics, but this is one I figured might interest you the most. Right on. So threw that in there too, um, and then I just showed everybody our show notes so they know where we're going. <laughs> There's but, not much there, but that's that's a that's what I had to geek out about this week. Very very cool. Um, you know where we're going yeah. next to you. This is usually where we talk about a movie that we've watched. One yeah. of those us have watched. And um, there hasn't been any like really I, great movies coming out. I did week. watch a movie, though. I watched one last night called Greta. It's out on DVD. Um, DVD. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm familiar with that. It's like a primitive form of Blu-ray. Oh, I remember yeah. Blu-rays. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a pre-Blu-ray. <laughs> uh, Greta stars... Um, Oh, what the hell's her name? Chloe Moritz. Oh, uh, Hit Girl. Yeah, Hit Girl. Okay. Um, and it's it's not a thriller. It's not a well, it's not a horror movie. It's more of a thriller. Um, genuinely, some creepy shit 
and it was a fun watch. I enjoyed it. It kind of right. had a predictable ending, but they're going to. Um, I enjoyed it. Greta, G R E T A. Check it out in your red box uh, whenever the show's over, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't think Greta's in uh, our movie draft this season. It is not. Let's find out what it is. Welcome to your movie draft minute presented by DiamondClub.tv for the week of August 19th, 2019. I'm your host, Nick Voice J, brought to you by Fuzzy Logic. Careful, it tickles. Let's go to the scoreboard. Team Game Nights in last place with $211.8 million. Team Devon Squad's in fifth place with $506.1 million. Team Ever Drink is in fourth place with $775.7 million. Team Drunkards Gaming is in third place with $976.1 million. Team Retro Mystery is in second place with $1,021.2 million. And in first place with $1,258.6 million, it's Team Movie Party. Let's just dream Team Movie Draft Minute. All totals of record as of August 21st, 2000. Uh, I just noticed that first place mm -hmm. movie has more than a billion dollars more than last place team game night. Wow. Uh, I don't think uh, team movie party is an actual team. I think that's just some shit Jay's been making up this entire season. <laughs> uh, well, in that case, then we win. <laughs> Sorry, Poodle and Sessian. Whatever. Are those even real names? Like, that doesn't sound like it. No, it's not. It's not even real. It's fake. Not even real. Um, if you would like to keep this show going and make more movie draft minutes, uh, that didn't actually have anything to do with it at all. Go to <laughs> patreon.com slash ritual misery. <laughs> Find out what you can get over there. Yeah. <laughs> Pre shows, post shows, full versions of shows, unseen uh, elsewhere, mm -hmm. the clips and interviews. And let's not forget the clip of me and you uh, instra syncing, syncing uh, Inner Sandman by Metallica back in yeah. the late 90s. Yeah, that video is it, it, it makes a very brief appearance in the episode 200 little mini doc that I put together. Yeah, but you can see it in its entirety. <laughs> If you want to torture yourself for what is it, two minutes and forty-five seconds or whatever, it's yeah, it's uh, it's it's enough time for you to wonder what the fuck you're doing with your life. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, all of that and more is available at Patreon.com/slash Ritual Misery. Help us out by showing us that you give a fuck and give us a buck. Yep. Uh, this episode of the Ritual Misery podcast is also brought to you by a Daily Tech News Show. I. Oh. I produce that show sometimes. Uh, if you want to catch all the daily tech news in a single 30-minute segment with minimal advertising, because uh, it's basically it's advertising if you're not a patron, but it's no advertising if you are, hint, hint. Cruise mm -hmm. on over to patreon.com slash DTNS and enjoy some daily tech news show. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Wow, you fucked up the bit again. Like, you're the worst. Hey, Damn it. It's time for this. Can I please have your attention? In the last 30 minutes, Kent's done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very excited. Kent's games. Play with him. Now it's your turn to fuck something up. Uh, real quick, uh, Wabbit Magic and W. Scottis One want to know if I'm still an intern. I am not. I have graduated from my internship. Internship ended last Friday. I'm now a free agent. Uh, I'm simply waiting for my last contract to end. Uh, actually, I ended my internship contract. Now I'm waiting for my Air Force contract to end, which will be a week from Saturday or whatever. Mm. So what you're saying is you're unemployed. Uh, I'm semi-employed. Semi-employed. Yeah. So when will you be rager employed? Uh, mm, we're going to go 9 September. I've got a lot of things lined up starting then. Right on. Right on. I'm looking forward to hearing about those things. Um, yep. Lots of things in the news lately, man. Like like always, like every mm. day, there's things in the news. Some things are real and some are not. Mm. We have the return of action news or fake news this week. Oh, so I'm going to read you a headline, and you tell me if this was a genuine news story about real events or if this is complete made-up bullshit and put out there on the web somewhere. So put Fox News or, or not. Got it. Yeah, faux news. <laughs> uh, okay. Your 
First headline. California bans Hunt's manwich sauce. Manwich sauce. California bans Hunt's manwich sauce. Uh, apparently there was a, a, a concern about it not being gender neutral. So California said um, you need to take that product off shelves. Uh, first of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this real quick since we're talking about the news. I'm going to say that's bullshit. Okay, it's bullshit, but is it real or fake? <laughs> Valid point. Because it could be real and bullshit. I'm going to say it's fake news. It's Fox News. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. There you go. So the Daily Zeitgeist starts out every episode by saying, from the top, fuck Fox News and fuck Coke Industries. Every episode, and it's one of the greatest moments I have in my day. What what show does that? The Daily Zeitgeist. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. All right. So yes, you did get that one correct. It uh it is a fake news headline. Um next one. Fish with two mouths caught in Lake Champlain. Fish with two mouths was caught in Lake Champlain. That sounds true. You think that's true? Yeah. It is, and I saw a picture of it, and it's freaky. It's got another mouth just right under its normal mouth. Do they both go to the gullet? Yes. Oh, well. It's it's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Okay. It's it's almost as weird as catfish having noses. Oh, right. right. (laughs) How the fuck's it got? Yeah, how's it got a fake nose and whiskers? Like, what the fuck is it doing? Ah, whatever. (laughs) It's a master of disguise. (laughs) All right, your third headline. People contract herpes after drinking Instagram star Belle Delphine's bathwater. That's got to be fake. <laughs> Did you hear about this, though? Like Her this, selling this, her bathwater? Yeah. Yeah. Selling like little vials of, yeah, that's, that's fucking gross and weird. Yeah. And for like 50 bucks. It wouldn't even like cheap. Yeah, and I bet people were paying it too because there's some. Oh, fuck- I'm sure they were. There's some fucking thirsty ass weirdos out it, there. It wasn't even like dirty bath water, for what I understand either. It was just like she got in a tub, splashed some water around, and said, "Here's my bath water." Yeah, I, like if you're gonna go like full on gross, fucking, I want I want that shit to be like nasty, like you just went out tromping through the fucking mud. You know what I mean? Like just go fucking full on gross. Don't be, don't be half assing this weird fucking kink shit. <laughs> oh man! Don't I, I? I don't kink shame, and I don't want half-ass kink either. Like full-fledged kink or nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we don't want your bullshit if you're just like dipping your toe in the water. Yeah. You know All right. <laughs> Air mattresses go rogue after wind turns outdoor movie night to chaos. This is true because I actually saw this story. Yeah, that's pretty funny, man. All of the all of the the inflatable mattresses are just blowing around like giant um, uh, tumbleweeds and shit. It was, it was pretty wild. Yeah, I I don't know the setup for that. Were like were people on them? Was it were they waiting for people to show up? Like, I don't know. But either way, it was funny as hell to watch a bunch of fucking queen size mattresses just go tossing away in the wind. Yeah, yeah. All right, airport worker fired for giving traveler note reading "You ugly." <laughs> <laughs> Airport worker fired for giving traveler note reading, you ugly. I'm going to go true on this just because I hope it is. I I don't hope they got fired. I hope that they actually gave somebody a note. (laughs) He did, in fact. And it's caught on video, and you can see him (laughs) handing the note to the guy. It's... uh... (laughs) Oh, my gosh. That that wins. That wins. (laughs) All right. Police shut down a nightclub for fostering cannibalism. That can't be true. No. Yeah, there was uh, like like uh, paintings and things on the wall that yeah. had to, like um, humans being eaten and whatnot. Um, you said it's not true, though. It's not true. And 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 here's the kicker. Because for it to be true, everything has to be true. For it to be false, only one thing has to be untrue. I don't think they would have shut the nightclub down. <laughs> 
Right. Yeah, the, that's kind of the yeah. night. The nightclub would have stayed open, and the the owners would have gone to jail, or the operators, or whatever. But the nightclub would have stayed open. Like, <laughs> yeah. in this economy, nobody's going to shut down a fucking nightclub. <laughs> Unless you're Alan McCord. Well, All right. vomiting vultures invade Florida vacation home. I'm going to say this is true because it's Florida. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, <laughs> you are right. <laughs> Florida vultures uh, got into this couple's home and just started puking everywhere. Yeah, well, uh, that's probably because they were just on a on a cocaine bender from the from Python. Probably. probably, probably. All right, Canada banning straight marriage during Pride Month. That's bullshit. But is it true? <laughs> Damn it! You keep getting me on that. Uh, no, it is not true. <sighs> Yes. Yes. All right. That's that's uh, reverse discrimination, which is just discrimination with a reverse in front of it. And I don't think that shit would fly, especially during fucking Pride Month. Like that just Yeah. Pride Month is about acceptance, not like, well, let's ban those guys this time. Right. Take turns. You know. All right. Plus, how fucked up would that be? Like all these people had to change their plans and sh- uh, no, 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 it just didn't make sense. Okay. Yeah. All right, U.S. tourist arrested for refusing to trade his wife to a Saudi prince. All right, uh, first of all, you said U.S. and then mentioned overseas, so I'm inclined to believe that it is true. But then refusing to give wife to a Saudi prince? Yeah, he was offering 45 camels. No, because them sons of bitches would just fucking take her and she'd just disappear and it'd be like one of those taken scenarios. So no, that's false. <laughs> it is. It is. You, you notice I'm not using real logic here. I'm using movie fucking logic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a specific set of skills. <laughs> and it's in camel trading. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to have the camels haul? Nothing. I just want the camera. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put a little motor on their back and have it whip them while they run around in a circle. Person wearing TV torments Virginia Town by leaving TVs on porches. This is true. <laughs> it is. It sounds fake as hell. Yeah. Wearing a, wearing a TV would go and just drop old CRT TVs, like old style TVs on people's porches and just fucking leave. Like, where do you get that many TVs? <laughs> <laughs> and who the hell's carrying around a 70 pound TV to drop on a fucking porch somewhere? <laughs> Dude. But still, like, how great of a prank is that? Like, that's so cool. Uh, and everybody's catching this guy on their ring doorbells. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, Miss, I've got some real news for you right Uh-oh. now. Um, you got 10 out of 10, sir. Is this a first? I don't think it's a first ever, but it's a first in a very, very long time. It makes up for not getting the D last week, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think, you're, I think your average is D. Yeah, I got an average D. <laughs> oh, man. So, right. so that was action news. Or fake. Yeah, and now we're in a very uh, weird spot. We've eaten up 43 minutes of airtime, uh, about half an hour of actual show. Um, we don't have a main topic. We don't, man. Um, this is two weeks in a row, but last week we at least fudged it. Yeah, last week we, we made a bit of it. Um, I don't know. Which I, I will say, dude... Um, you keep fucking up the mid-roll advertisement, but you, you you nailed that segment just on the fly when I came up with it and just started going. You flowed with it perfectly. Why can't you do that with any other bit? Like, this is the one time you actually fucking ad-libbed your way through anything in life. Right, right. You know, so I speaking of ad-libbing, I say uh, we ask Twitch chat mm. what you want us to talk about. Uh, just Ooh. give us a topic and we'll, we'll riff on it a, a little bit. Ooh, this could be interesting. So and also, to and why is everybody the- leaving? I want to <laughs> <laughs> remind everyone that um, we are collecting title suggestions. 
Yeah. Uh, you can do that by typing bang S, which is exclamation point, lowercase s, and then followed by your suggestion. Um, okay, so I will go with Fortnite, and then you go with the boys on Amazon Prime. Uh, Fortnite yep. is a phenomenon of a game that has gone past its time, I believe. Uh, it's it, it, as popular as it was. It's impossible to maintain that popularity for very long, and now this kind of settled into this more of a uh, a steady stream popularity level. Like the people that were all about it are still all about it, but the ones that were just there for the flight of fancy have kind of moved on. It, it'll be interesting to see where it goes and w- how the platform changes as it moves on. But I'm glad it's not in my house anymore. When Fortnite first came out, like we, we kind of dabbled in it uh, here in the house and it just it wasn't one of those things that, that really kept our interest. None of us were particularly good at it. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, the popularity is still there. It's still huge. Mm. Um, yeah, so the boys, did we talk about the boys before? Only briefly. Yeah, so the boy, man, the boys on Amazon. I cannot wait for season two to come out. It is such a wonderful show, but not for, uh, someone who is easily offended or doesn't like extreme violence (laughs) on TV or, or cuss words, many, 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 many cuss words. Bottom line is you give it a thumbs up though. (laughs) It's a big time thumbs up, man. (laughs) If uh, if you're fine with all of this and you don't have small children running around, uh, check it out, dude. It is such a cool show. It's about it's basically these vigilantes that uh, are anti superhero. So it takes place in a world where superheroes exist, but they're like corporate entities. They all have sponsorships, and they're basically like like social media stars, but they have superpowers, hmm. and they sometimes save people and do superhero things. But a, a lot of what they do is just like public appearances and and taking selfies with people and uh but there's also a much darker side where they do some really 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 fucked up shit and you know those pe- people like that exist anyway but but give those people superpowers and um yeah you know so you got this this group of, of vigilantes that are um trying to do something about it uh so i after re- watching season 1 and loving it so much i started reading the comics uh, from the 90s, I think, or early 2000s, I think is when they came out. Well, they were in a hum- humble bundle if you wanted to buy them all at one time right after the show came out. So yeah, that's where I picked them also, up. They're available on Kindle Unlimited as mm-hmm. well uh, for any Amazon Prime type people. Um, yeah, so those are really good. The, there's some slight differences. Uh, the, the crux of the story is the same. Uh, the feel of the story is the same. Most of the characters are pretty much the same uh but there's some differences like for example they're not vigilantes they actually work for the cia Mm. a a covert group um you know there's some things like that but uh the comic is really 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 good as well so yeah man nice um i haven't seen it i plan on watching it uh it's just a matter of taking the time to actually sit down and, and watch it with the entire rest of the family have already seen it so it's like yeah, it's one right. of those things that I have to watch it either by myself or with someone telling me what's about to fucking happen the entire goddamn time. Um, and I'm still like halfway through the wire, so I got to finish that first. Mm-hmm. And now that my my HBO subscription ran out, I've got to find alternate means to watch the wire. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I already found the ways, but it's just a matter. Of are you doing are you gonna get Disney Plus? Oh yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's that's a, that's a fucking yeah. given. With like as I, many kids as I have and everything else, that's that's a given. Like besides Netflix and Prime, I I think I I can, I would probably just drop everything else. But I'm gonna have Disney Plus for sure. Like I that's just be one of the top three. I just talked about this a couple of days ago on DTNS. For me, the consideration isn't um, all the services I have and this and that. It's a matter of I used to spend 150 bucks a month on on cable, on just cable. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't get anything out of that. So, like me having an internet subscription now, which I just changed to fiber, by the way, which is the hell of faster than my cable was. Um, me having getting internet wasn't part of that 150 bucks. That was just my cable subscription at the time. And so I don't count that as part of the, the new cost. But if you look at all the, I, I have Apple Music for the family plan, Netflix. I had HBO, just, just dropped it because uh, Game of Thrones isn't on anymore. 
And I kept it on the entire time we were doing the podcast about the show, just because I felt guilty. I didn't want to cancel it. Um, and then I ended up using HBO to watch it. Anyway, and then you go Prime, which is kind of almost something that they just give you. Would I pay for it separately? I'd actually probably pay for it separately before I paid for the shipping by itself because I live in Alaska and the shipping doesn't necessarily mean much to us. Right, um, right. And then Disney Plus. Am I missing anything? Because I think that's it. But I'm still way below 150 bucks a month. Right, yeah. You, so If you count my, my Adobe subscription, my Adobe uh, 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 Creative Cloud subscription to that, and a couple of the other services that I have that I use for work, I'm still under 150 bucks. I'm still paying less than what I was for a bunch of fucking TV I never watched. Yeah, so W. Scott is one wants to know, with Disney Plus, uh, would you get the bundle with Hulu and ESPN Plus as well? So I think Disney Plus by itself is like eight bucks. Seven bucks a month. Right? Seven, seven bucks, mm -hmm. yeah. And then for like 13 bucks, you can get uh, Disney Plus with Hulu. I'm not sure if it's the ad-supported version or just like the full-blown full, full blown Hulu um, and ESPN Plus. I So here's the thing on that. There's, ad support, it says. There are some details I need before I start going deeper into it. Because I'm, I'm already going to get the basic the basic package. Okay. Um, on that seven bucks a month, how many streams can I have concurrently? Can I have have at least two? I need at least two streams concurrently. Because, you know, if I'm watching something downstairs and my daughter wants to watch some, some shit upstairs, like, I'm not going to stop so she can watch it. And she's not going to stop so I can watch it. That's just how it goes. Um, so I need to know how many concurrent streams. ESPN Plus, well, Hulu would be good for the rest of the family because they're always watching TV and they would love to have Hulu, easy Hulu access. Um, ESPN Plus for me would be worth it if I could watch Niners games, like or or just just general football games. If I could if I could watch football games during during the season that I wouldn't get otherwise, you know, that I wouldn't get on Prime or on Twitter, then then it becomes worth it to me. But I don't I don't enjoy football enough to pay. 200 bucks uh, for you know for the fucking big package or whatever right exactly so that that's kind of yeah. where i'm at with it it really depends on how many streams am i going to get concurrently and how much football am i going to be able to watch on espn plus yeah i gotta look into espn plus as well because like hulu by itself i don't know and and also it's the ad supported version i don't know what's on hulu that i would that i would watch i i, I don't know uh, so I had I kind of had to look at that, uh, but ESPN Plus for 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 sure because I I don't know I I really have no idea what content is on that. Yeah, um, it interests me, but it, so what what would you draw you toward though? Toward ESPN? Yeah, but football, same thing. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's what I thought, but yeah, yeah, mainly football. Uh, not necessarily team specific for me personally, but um, uh, this is. By default, a Green Bay Packers house. Right. Uh, so, I mean, the more Packers that's on there, of course. Uh, but I don't know if ESPN Plus would be geared toward any specific teams. So, I don't know. I yeah. don't know. Research is needed. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's at least interesting. Now, Apple TV Plus, it sounds like it might be worth it eventually, but not right out the gate with just yep. five shows. But Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting it. Yeah. Like this sound good like like um like Emmy draws but I don't really watch Emmy draws, you know? Yeah. Well, my my thing is what what's going to come with it because there one time they were talking about getting HBO for 10 bucks instead of paying 15. You know, so if there's if there are things wrapped up in there and it becomes more of a a better bundle I'm not against bundling all my shit. Like if I could just pay, here's a hundred bucks a month and I can watch anything if I can want at any time, anywhere, whatever, I'm all for it. What I'm against is cables model where I have to, I can only watch certain things at certain times unless I pre decide to pre record, you know, mm -hmm. like I can't find out something's on tonight and then go, Oh shit, let me hit record and record that from the beginning. That's not how fucking cable works, but that, right. is, that is how streaming services work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, Oh shit, you're halfway through that. I wanted to watch that. Okay. Well, it's, Let's just watch it. So, right. yeah, that's that's where I'm at with that. Yeah, and then, what about like um, H, uh, HBO Max? Any interest in that? Mm, no. Yeah, same. Like I, I'm, 
shit. I think my HBO is still active. I'm gonna have to drop HBO. But yeah, like HBO doesn't even as good as HBO is. It's not worth 15 bucks a month to me anymore. And you know, add the Warner Brothers catalog and stuff. Like, all right, like no, not doing that. Um. <laughs> so in chat room, Ace Platinum is wanting us to get wanting to see how close we are to guessing shit. Left, which would be me. Left is Russell forty three and a gas station manager. And right is Lenny forty eight and the comic book store manager. Okay. What 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 does that mean? I don't know. That's just what he <laughs> guessed. <sighs> Oh, okay. I mean, he's, oh, he's, okay. So he's he's guessing our names and jobs. He's okay. at least close to my age. He fucked up all your stuff completely, though. Yeah. So Lenny, forty-eight, comic book store manager. I, I'm okay with that actually. So when I'm <laughs> when I turn forty-eight, I'm going to open a comic book store and change my name to Lenny. <laughs> I, <yeah>. Done. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Um want to give a quick shout out to everybody in the chat. Uh W Scottus One, Bad Weave, Deuce Gone Wild. Nice to see you back on here. Apparently his Twitch count was all jackered up, so he's finally back on. Ace Platinum who stopped by and asked us random questions. Big voice J. Uh big props to you. Commander Root, Del Noche, that's you. Why are you watching our own shit? Uh <laughs> or actually, why am I reading your name and I know it better? Lurks. That's a, that's a new one, I think. S1 Faka, that's another new one. Stoke Squirrel, glad to see you back. And, of course, Wabbit Magic. Hell yeah. We love having you guys here. Uh, blast. Yep. All right. And, um, of course, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ethan Kane, E-T-H-A-N-C-A-I-N-E. I retweeted a little thing from a Massa Worm earlier today that just had me fucking <laughs> rolling. I was laughing my ass off. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's the kind of shit I, I share in there. I find other people's funny stuff and reshare it and then put a couple of my own completely inappropriate remarks on there or express my outrage on things. That's what I do on Twitter. What do you do on Twitter, Kent? I, uh, I try to be funny. Um, I, d I don't, I'm not funny a lot. <laughs> and when I feel funny, I put it on Twitter. <laughs> um, and that's over uh, RM underscore Del Noche on Twitter. And uh, if you're interested in other social media platforms, you can find me as Del Noche or Del Noche 77 pretty much everywhere. And, of course, you can find the show at Ritual Misery. We, uh, we let you know when we're going live. Uh, once in a while, you see some random tweets and retweets and likes on there. That's usually me because I'm logged into the wrong goddamn account, but whatever. And... <laughs> It's a good way to message us at Ritual Misery, R I T U A L M I S E R Y. I want everybody to go to Discord because Discord is a lot of fun. Go to bit.ly slash RMP Discord to get into our rooms and, uh, and chat with you until six o'clock in the morning on days when you should be fucking sleeping. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> get in there and do that. All right, we are live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific on diamondclub.tv and twitch.com slash, or twitch.tv slash ritual misery. Thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music because you're amazing. And uh, thank you for listening. For Kent, for me, and for you, this has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. Ooh -ooh. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> R I T U A L M I S E R Y.